A ve ve ku ve ha mie mo agbo. Eh? You hear what I hear? I'm gonna be smart, you know. <laughs> Nigeria is a cruise. They should put us on uh, Netflix. Then, so another report has this year reported that U.S. government tells court Tinubu is CIA asset. Insists Nigeria Nigerians have no right to assess uh, Tinubu's past records. Oh share. Is it double or seven? Or which one is it? Oh share. Tinibule. Record that last year the courts declined an emergency application seeking to compel top US law enforcement agencies to hasten the release of confidential information on Bola Tinibu. United States uh, law enforcement agencies have insisted Nigerians have no right to unfiltered access to Bola Tinibu's past records. The position was stated in a memorandum filed by the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, and the Drug Enforcement Agents uh, Administration, DEA, before the United States District Court uh, for the District of Columbia, which renowned uh, journalist David Hunderin shared on Twitter on Tuesday night. Recall that last year, the court declined an emergency application seeking to compel top U.S. law enforcement agencies to hasten the release of confidential information on Bola Tinubu. But let me just even state here, asset qua. I don't understand asset as in how. As in, it's an active asset. He has not reached the place where they can, you know, disclose whatever they have on him. So they are still using him. What does that mean in terms of this is now someone who has rigged his way into office and occupying the office of the sit of the president that he shouldn't occupy in Nigeria. How vulnerable is Nigeria to all of this? All, all of this is it just story? Is it just uh, uh, is it just hearsay? Is it just mere fabrication? Like because I don't even understand. But anyway, Sha, let me go back. Given an update on the case, Hunde said uh, the three U.S. agencies had filed their defense against uh, the summary judgment concerning Bola Metinibu's drug trafficking investigation records. The journalist wrote yesterday that Monday in federal court, the CIA, FBI, and DEA filed a memorandum opposing our mo motion for summary judgment in the FOIA uh, freedom of information, I think, uh, uh, disclosure case uh, about Bola Metinibu's drug trafficking investigation records, where we are seeking to have the redactions removed from the partially released files. For those of you that have not followed the during the presidential uh, election, or after the pres during and after, right? There was this thing that was demand that uh, all the records of Tinibu should be made public. At the end of the day, I think it was just before the swearing, you know, something like that, that the FBI did make some records uh, open, but they redacted it. That's a lot of parts were not shown, were not allowed to go uh, out there. People are saying this is someone who was involved in drug, drug tra uh, trafficking to the extent that uh, he had to even forfeit. Uh, four hundred and sixty thousand dollars, I think it was. So, or to, on what basis was he allowed to 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 get away? What probably people are asking? What deal did he strike with the state? Did he strike with this thing? Was he? And right now, like what what is being uh, in, uh, implicated here is the fact that he's an asset that had been used for certain things. So asset. So that means he's still being used. And you are wondering why when Tinibu goes out with other president, they used to keep him by the side. He can't enter. Oh, oh, and then you now say one thing, and before you know what's happening, it's appearing somewhere else. Anyway, Sha, let me come back to my best thing. In the filing, the CIA effectively confirmed that Nigeria's sitting president is an active CIA asset. An extract from the CIA file is read. Human sources can be expected to furnish information to the CIA only when they are confident the CIA can and will do everything in its power to prevent the public disclosure of their cooperation. So, human assets. So, 
Tinibu is an asset to them, so they are protecting him. And I think even Tinibu to also wrote to them when the courts, uh, even uh, Atiku had also done a filing for certain things. Tinibu had wrote to them that it is going to affect the uh, national security and blah 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 blah. So uh, we know it now. So let me repeat what I said earlier. Human sources, what well, this is what CIA file. They say human sources can be expected to furnish information to the CIA only when they are confident the CIA can and will do everything in its power to prevent the public disclosure of their cooperation. In the case of a person who has been cooperating with the CIA, official confirmation of that cooperation could cause the target to take retaliatory action against the person or against their family or friends. Hmm. It also places in jeopardy every individual with whom the cooperating uh, individual has had contact. Thus, the indiscretion of one source in a chain of intelligence sources can damage an entire spectrum of sources. As such, confirming or denying the existence of records on a particular foreign national like Tinibu reasonably could be expected to cause damage to the U.S. national security by indicting whether or not the CIA maintained any human intelligence sources related to Tinibu and identifying any assets or lack of access, any such in, uh, sources had to intelligence concerning him. <sighs> English. But you know, you know, between the English, if you read between the lines, what are they saying? And if that wasn't bad enough, the DEA's filing included a paragraph that literally said, we oppose full or redacted disclosure of the DEA's Bolatinibu heroin trafficking investigation records. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Because we believe that while Nigerians have a right to be informed about what their government is up to, they do not have a right to know what their president is up to. Hey! Oh, you get what they talk? Why you have a right to know what your uh, government is up to? You don't have a right to know what your president, like I always say, legitimate president is up to. Hey! hey. Hey, at this point, I think there's nothing more to be said about the direct role that the U.S. government plays in ensuring that Africa is constantly destabilized and afflicted with terrible leaders who create poverty and devastation. Oh, very, very cool.